So this is one of our uh, Year 13 economic students, uh, Wendy. Thank you very much, Wendy, for coming in and thank you for giving up your time. Just a few questions I'd like to ask you. Um, first of all, um, why is it that you chose economics? Well, I wanted to choose something uh, different from what I used to do uh, in my GCSEs or in general. And economics looks like it looked one of the best options because it was a topic, a subject where I could also benefit in my day-to-day um, -day life. So with the uh, knowledge that I, w I would like have in the future of like in those two years I could have applied in my life and it's very important because you know we don't learn a lot of things in uh, high school about uh, how to manage money or uh, banks and how economy works so I thought that that was a good way to understand better the world so yeah and it's been said that economics is mainly for boys. I mean, how would you, you feel about that particular statement? That it's like saying that only women should cook at home because that's a woman's job. I don't think it's true. I think it's just that society has made it a, a kind of normal to, to say that certain jobs are for certain like uh, genders, where it's not everybody's able to do anything. But probably because in the past uh, we can see that the ratio, like the percentages of uh, people that you would work as economists or like in businesses and stuff like that would be prevalently like men. But I don't think that it's a male's topic, a male's a subject. I feel like that everybody can do it and is able to learn as good and as much as everybody else. Wanda, could you tell me, give us an idea or flavour of some of the topics that you've studied uh, during your course and how it's actually helped you um, outside the college? First of all, we started with uh, like the concept of economics. So we learned what economics actually is. And um, also, like at the beginning, it was kind of like a very strange because I thought that it would have been something totally different where there would have been a lot of maths and a lot of like calculation whereas instead it's more of a humanistic in a certain way topic because we talk a lot about uh, the behavior and like the mental process of people in making choices on uh, um, buying or selling something and um, and it's not just that, it's not just like supply and demand and economic, like uh, the cost of production and uh, those things. It's so much more in depth. I didn't know that um, economics could go so beyond my imagination. Like I didn't uh, realize that um, every small thing in our society, uh, in the market, it's so closely like attached to not only firms, but the government and like us as like consumers. And it made me also, it really helped me a lot because now when uh, I look at the news and when they start talking about economy, about especially, you know, uh, most of the times they talk about um, the government, the countries, how they're doing, how like, uh, how it's going the economy, especially this year with the pandemic, that it was a terrible year for the economy and we had a lot of like, a lot of problems. I could understand what they were saying and I could um, make my own like thoughts and like I started to uh, um, come up with some ideas on how the government for example could uh, fix these uh, negative externalities or like sometimes I mean we didn't have a lot of positive externalities this time and this is a topic in market failure which is one of my favorites. It's extremely interesting because it's very in depth and uh, it, I don't know, it's a very fun. It's one of like probably the best topic that I did uh, since now. It's very, very good and very nice to learn about it. And um, what particular aspects of the course have you found challenging? I feel like that a lot of my classmate, classmates will agree with this is that we have a very like a range of diagrams to remember. So I feel like the hardest part of the course is to remember um, all the diagrams that we have to like draw and how to draw them and remember all the details because those are important it's like uh, 
important for us as students to do good in the exam but also it will help us on uh, writing our essay for example and explain ourselves is more like a it's it helps us as a, as a plan let's say and i feel like that is the hardest part probably of the course like uh, uh re remembering all the diagrams and uh understanding the topics and uh com like keeping a track on them and combining them with each other so it's like in maths you have to understand everything because if you miss a piece then you will not get the next topic and finally uh, what plans do you have wendy for the future well in the future i know i'm gonna go to uni and uh, after this experience with uh, on learning like economics and having a taste let's say of this uh, subject i think like um I'm going to probably choose on a combined course. I really want to do psychology and um, because there is a few things that are in common in the both subjects because they are humanistic, as I said, um, I will probably do something combined so that it will help me as a person in the future, in my everyday life as well as uh, in my in case in the future I want to like maybe open my business so I don't know and understand how the economy economy works and when I should uh, um, enter the economy or if I should not so yeah thank you very much for your time much appreciated